And I've, I always tell my producers this too, when I'm doing a story, I don't care what it's about, I want to make sure that I have diverse sources in that story. And I wanted to have a financial planner come on and talk about the story that I was doing. And I found Stacy. We started talking and she said she'd started this organization called Savvy Ladies. And they were having some workshops at a office building downtown. Could I stop by and see it? And I was just overwhelmed. Take all of this additional wealth and simply plunk it into the financial playbook that men have used for decades does not work. It doesn't work because we are different. We want to use our resources to accomplish different things. We want to measure our progress in different ways. First and foremost, for us, the bar that we are reaching for is the life that we want to create. Money is the tool that helps us achieve it. What an incredible privilege and honor to receive such an award. I really appreciate it. The opportunity to be here in this room with other change makers like Kate, who we've known each other for a long time and we followed each other's career very, um, very closely. It's really in pursuit of positive change. And that's what I really am really proud of everybody here for. It's all about positive change. So it's really inspiring. It's really exhilarating. So thank you for that. Following her footsteps and to just make this world more equitable and more fair and to really provide financial, competent financial planning to everyone who needs it to make sure that there are enough ethical, competent financial planners out there and that we welcome everyone into this profession. This room is great. There's a lot of diversity here. We don't have nearly enough women or people of color or people who have had other careers in this profession. It's a fantastic job and every one of you love what you do. And saying that when we think about the opportunity, it's not just helping the women that are in need to get financially healthy. It's ensuring that there's more women in Wall Street that can help women become financially healthy. And the reality is we know the stats are not up to par. The reality is we know people of color do not see this industry as an opportunity. I think we need to decide. We need to decide 50% of women on Wall Street in the financial industry should actually think that this is a career for them. Savvy Ladies couldn't be more relevant than it is during these difficult days of the pandemic. Women's financial independence has been threatened as they are more likely to leave employment to take care of their parents and children, many of whom who are forced to learn from home. I've been giving a lot of thought as to what it means to be a savvy lady. And while there are a number of important traits, there are two I'd like to highlight. First, financial soundness. Being armed with the information to make successful financial decisions. It's so important to have a sense of financial security and understand how to plan for your future well-being. And number two, having a seat at the table. 